politics in the United States feel a lot more like reality television. And it could be because we have a former reality television host as our president. Um, however, if you take a look at the type of television programming uh, most Americans are watching these days, you'll kind of understand why someone like Trump ended up becoming our president in the first place. Now, uh, recently there was this huge scandal, huge controversy, I should say, regarding the season finale of The Bachelor. Hold. Now, uh, the controversy was the fact that the guy that all the women are trying to marry, his name is um, Ari Lewandyke Jr., he um, made a decision to propose to one of the contestants and then later changed his mind and then proceeded to pursue another contestant. And then after he did that, decided to go back to the previous woman and people were upset about it. Now, uh, he dumped Lauren Burnham and proposed to Becca Cuffrin, okay? Lewandyke later, uh, I'm sorry, Lyondyke, that's how you pronounce his name. Lyondyke later, later questioned his choice and broke up with Cuffrin to pursue Burnham again. And then um, we have a bunch of fun screenshots of what occurred because we can't play you the original video due to copyright reasons. So, okay, so. Um, Look, I insisted that we do this story and I'll tell you why. Um, partly because I very randomly caught 10 minutes of this live last night, okay? And it's because last night we'd watched the Oscars, so it was still on ABC. Mm -hmm. And I was going to watch John Oliver's show, which was brilliant, by mm -hmm. the way. So summer television is fantastic now. HBO, Netflix, absolutely killing it. Uh, Amazon, Hulu, and others as well, right? Uh, but then you've got this dumpster fire. And so, first of all, I wanna be clear that I'm not trying to judge the people who watch this stuff. Um, it'll seem that way, but so let me tell you ahead of time, I've done your drug. So my wife and I used to watch The Bachelor, I don't remember if we watched one or two seasons. And when I uh, was you know, about to go to watch my show and this was on, I got stuck and I did watch it for 10 minutes. It was like a train wreck and you couldn't look away. Mm -hmm. But the reason I wanna do this story is we've gotta look away. This is hurting the country. It's emotional porn and it's, so let me explain the scene that I saw. So they go back and forth a little bit and uh, and you know I find I don't give a damn about any of these people and they're all half actors, right? So he was, he couldn't decide who was, in fact, I remember I watched Crashing from HBO. Mm -hmm. So I caught a little piece of this. And then when it was done, I was gonna go to John Oliver's show, then I caught another piece of it, right? So I saw the little bit of like drama, which way is he gonna go? I was like, that one I lasted for like 15 seconds. I'm like, I don't care which one he's gonna go with. Okay, let's watch this, right? Mm -hmm. Then I come back and he's breaking up with a girl that he said yes to. Who cares, who cares, who cares? Except for she started crying and weeping and they wouldn't stop following her. With why, the cameras. Why would they? That's exactly what they want. That's what the producers of the show want. That's what, you know, and again, I, I'm not judging either, but that's what the audience uh, reacts to, is attached to. They want the drama. It's a soap opera, essentially. Exactly. But, and the people who, who are involved in the soap opera, I get it. They signed up for it. I, I know that. But they're also people, and they got caught in this play, and now kind of a zoo or a coliseum. And at that moment, she is genuinely upset and he won't leave the house. And I'm positive the producers are telling him, don't leave the house. She's asking him to leave. She's an emotional wreck and he won't leave just to rub it in a little bit because we want more crying for the Coliseum, mm -hmm. right? She goes into the bathroom so the cameras can't follow her, but they won't take off her mic. So you see her, you hear her sobbing and sobbing and you've got this and and I and I could feel like the audience kind of loving it, and it made me sick inside. So I have numbers to back up uh, the fact that the audience did love it, even though uh, Twitter erupted with a ton of criticism. So uh, the this was the 22nd season finale of The Bachelor, and it hit new season highs and gave ABC a win in the key demo. So um, it averaged a 2.2 rating in adults 18 to 49 and 7.8 million viewers. So a lot of people were watching. It broke all sorts of records for The Bachelor specifically. And I look, I. I'm actually kind of surprised by your commentary, Jenk, because this isn't new. I mean, they've always done this. It doesn't matter if they're weeping and crying. That's considered good TV. And they, they're not gonna take the mic off. That's like, you know, 
getting rid of the one component that the audience keeps coming back for. But what I will say is what I'm noticing in government right now, and it never, it didn't hit me until recently, was that the way Trump conducts things is very similar to what you would see on a reality show. So for instance, and correct me if I'm wrong, I don't remember Obama having these highly publicized and highly televised negotiation sessions with members of Congress. Now one might argue that it's transparency and it's a good thing, but the way that Trump carries himself makes it very apparent to me that it's theater, right? It's you know, he he likes the production of it all. He likes the drama of it all. And he's done it time and time again. It's never meant to negotiate actual policy and, and lead to real solutions. It's always meant for the drama. People in the media latch onto it and they debate it and they talk about it nonstop. Meantime, they're deregulating, you know, the environmental uh, protections that we have. So uh, that's the part of it that makes me worried because now society has devolved in not just the type of television that we're watching, but the way that we govern. And yeah. that's concerning. Yeah. So I think there's just a couple of uh, differences. One is we all knew that it was a. <laughs> Not unfortunately, not we all, right? But a lot of us knew it was a play before. And when you see Omarosa crying in a reality show, you'd have to be the biggest sucker in the world to think that that's real, right? So she's an actress, and she's her job is to go uh, piss off everybody on the set, mm -hmm. and then have them cry and her cry, and we and it's so like, why are we still watching? It's so fake. It's so fake, right? Okay, now in in this case. I, like again, she signed up for it, etc. But that that was genuine. She's high, she's not going and being like, oh my god, oh, I'm so upset. Later, I'll make millions when I become the Bachelorette and etc. Which probably will happen, by the way. Okay, but she was in bawling in the bathroom, and the Coliseum is on the edge. Like, oh, oh, this is good. And it just, I don't know, maybe it's partly because I happened to see it, right? And it was gut wrenching, and I didn't want us. To be entertained by that. And then to your point, Anna, look at what the country has become. Right. So we got so used to it that we put a reality show host as our leader, as the leader of the free world, the most powerful man on earth. And yes, Obama from time to time would bring in leaders from both parties, and it was totally fake. They would have a fake conversation, nothing would get negotiated. Mm -hmm. But Trump is a showman, so he, he agrees with the Democrats and Feinstein gets excited. And then Schumer says, we got a deal, and then it turns out they don't have a deal. Then they go on camera and cry, and Trump lied to me, I didn't know it. I mean, they've, so we got, we're the frog in the boiling water. We got used to the fake drama and the hysteria so much that we became, you know, we, we became a reality show, and so uh, we gotta get out. It's a dumpster fire. Uh, we, we gotta get out of this existence, because it's hurting us, it's hurting the whole country. If you wanna get the whole Young Turks show every single day, become a member, tytnetwork.com slash join. And once you do, you'll be saying, you know, I'm like a smart person. Or you might say, I think it's weird. Or you might say, oops. No, that won't be that one. It won't be that one, it'll be great, trust me. TYTnetwork.com slash join.